everyone, my name is Saulo Ajeda. I'm, I'm an online tutor here at EOP, and I will be talking about the Earth. This is a video, so feel free to pause it at any time to make sure that you read everything um, thoroughly. Uh, first, the geologic time scale. Uh, there are two time scales used to measure the age of the Earth. First is the relative time scale, which is based on the sequence of layering of the rocks and evolution of life. Second is the, the radiometric time scale, which is based on, their nat on the natural radioactivity of chemical elements in rocks. Some key principles of the geological time scale. One, rock layers or strata are laid down in succession with each, other, with, the, with, the, um, with each strata re representing a slice of time. And superposition that at, at any given stratum is probably older than those above it and younger than those below it. Some factors that confiscate the geologic time scale, they are the sequence of strata are often eroded, sorted, tilted, or even inverted after deposition. Strata laid down at the same time in different areas can have entirely different appearances. And strata of any given area represents only part of Earth's history. Earth structure. Earth can be divided into three sections, the biosphere, the hydrosphere, and the internal structure. The biosphere includes all forms of life, plants and animals, both on land and in the sea. The hydrosphere includes all forms of water, fresh and salt water, snow, ice, and the internal structure is divided into three, the crust, the mantle, and the core. Uh, crust, it makes up only 0.5% of Earth's total mass. It is subdivided into two main parts, the continental crust and the oceanic crust. Moho, the mo Mohorovisic discontinuity it is a boundary between the Earth's crust and the mantle. It serves to separate both oceanic and continental crust from underlying mantle. And the mantle, most of Earth's mass is in the mantle. Most of the mantle is, is solid, and only the upper third of the not as benosphere is more plastic like in nature. Core, the, the core is composed of iron and it's so hot that the outer core is molten. The inner core is under such extreme pressure that it remains solid. Now about plate tectonics, there are two theories. The first one, the continental drift theory. So in 1915, Alfred Wegener proposed that all present day continents originally formed one landmass, the Pangaea. The theory is based on five factors. One, Fossilized tropical plants were discovered beneath Greenland's ice caps. Two, glaciated landscapes occurred in the tropics of Africa and South America. Three, tr uh, tropical uh, regions and some continents had polar climates in the past based on paleoclimatic data. Four, the continents fit together like pieces of a puzzle. Five, si similarities existed in rocks between the east coast of North and South America and the west coast of Africa and Europe. The, the second uh, theory is the seafloor spreading theory. Transform boundaries. They, they, it occurs when plates slide past each other and they tend to cause earthquakes. Diverging boundaries. They, uh, it occurs when plates slide apart from each other. Converging boundaries. It occurs when two plates slide toward each other. Subduction is uh, if one plate moves underneath the other. Organic belt if plates collide and compress. Um, and then when two oceanic plates uh, converge, they create an island arc. When two continental plates collide, mountain uh, ranges are created. Earthquakes. They occur during abrupt movement of an existing fault. Massive amount of stored energy held in place by friction is released in a very short period of time. This is potential energy. Focus. Area where the energy is released Seismic waves travel outward in all directions from the focus. Epicenter, Earth's surface directly above the focus. The Richter scale, which is a, a logarithm that measures the strength or magnitude of an earthquake. Again, for, before you go and take your AP test, make sure that you know all these terms. Uh, seismic waves, body waves, waves that travel through the interior of Earth. P waves, they travel through Earth and are caused by expansion and contraction of bedrock. S waves produced when material moves either vertically or horizontally and travel only within the uppermost layers of Earth. And surface waves produced rolling and or swaying motion, cause ground motion and damage. 
severity of earthquakes depend depends on one the amount of potential energy that has been stored two the distance the rock mass moved when the energy was released three how far below the surface the movement occurred and four the makeup of the rock material some of the earthquake effects uh, there's primary and secondary effects uh, pri primary effects are the shaking and resulting damage to buildings and infrastructure and the loss of life or injury the secondary effects just rock slides flooding due to sinking of land liquefaction of recent sediments fires and maybe uh, tsunamis earthquake damage can be reduced by mapping of faults repairing computer models and simulations strengthening building codes repairing emergency teams with adequate training upgrading communication technology and availability, storing emergency supplies, and educating the public. Tsunamis, there are a series of waves created when a body of water is rapidly displaced, usually by, by, an, by an earthquake. It can be generated when plate, ba ba plate boundaries abruptly move and vertically displace the overlying water. Subduction zone related earthquakes, uh, these are the ones that generate the majority of all tsunamis. Volcanoes. Active volcanoes produce ma magma, which is uh, melted rock, on the surface. 95% of volcanoes occur at subduction zones and mid-oceanic ridges. 5% of volcanoes occur at, at hot spots, areas where plumes of magma come close to the surface. And volcanoes may produce ejecta, which is the lava rock, or maybe just ash. Molten lava, toxic gases, steam, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen chloride. Here's a picture of, um, of a volcano. As you can see, it releases uh, carbon dioxide. Uh, it may cause acid rain, trough beer. Okay. Methods of dealing with volcanoes include one, a modeling of data analysis for better volcanic theory prediction, two, better evacuation plans, three, study of precursors such as changes in the cone, four, uh, measuring changes in temperature and gas composition, five, magnetic changes, and six, changes in seismic activity. Volcano structure. So, um, just by looking at the picture, here, th that down here, one, that's a magma chamber, the bedrock, which is the base of the volcano, conducting pipe, the base, sill. Uh, there are uh, multiple. There's the branch pipe, the layers of ash made by the volcano, all these layers, flank, layers of lava made by volcano. Throat, parasitic cone, lava flow, vent crater, ash cloud. Yeah, just uh, make sure that you're able to identify um, each part of a volcano if you know if you're given a picture. Major types of volcanoes: uh, fissure. They uh, they're formed from a long crack in Earth's surface through which magma erupts. Shield. Uh, characterized by gentle sloping cone. Dome, they have a steep convex slope formed from thick, fast cooling lava. Ash cinder, throws out a lot of ash into the air. Composite, built up from alternate layers of lava and ash, and it has many little craters on its slope. Caldera, older volcano with large crater in which many little new craters are formed. Seasons, solar intensity, and latitude. Uh, factors that affect the amount of solar energy at the surface of Earth are the Earth rotation, the Earth revolution around the sun, the tilt of the, of the Earth axis, and atmospheric conditions. Seasons are not caused by Earth distance from, from the sun. They are caused by the angle of uh, Earth in, with respect to the sun. Soils are a thin la layer on top of most of Earth's land surface. It's a basic nat a natural resource and deeply affects the ecosystem. 
Soils are composed of three main ingredients, uh, minerals of different sizes, organic materials from the remains of dead plants and animals, open space that can be filled with water or air. Uh, a good soil for growing most plants should have about 45% of minerals, 5% organic matter, 25% of air and water. Soil develops in response to parent material, climate, living organisms, and topography. Soil components, clay, gravel, loam, sand, and silt. So some uh, organic versus inorganic fertilizers. So organic fertilizers, they come from animals, you know, animal manure, green manure, and compost. Uh, it improves the soil texture, adds organic nitrogen, and simulates an efficient bacteria and fungi. Uh, improves water, holding capacity of soil, and helps prevent erosion. On the other side, inorganic fertilizers, uh, they do not add humus to the soil, resulting in less ability to hold water and support living organisms. They lower oxygen content of the soil, supplies limited number of, of nutrients, and releases nitrous oxide, which is a green uh, greenhouse gas. Um, about rocks, the rock cycle. The main categories of rocks, we have uh, metamorphic rocks, igneous rocks, and sedimentary rocks. Uh, the metamorphic, they are, they are subjected to tremendous heat and pressure, like marble, slate. Igneous, formed by cooling, granite, and basalt. And sedimentary, formed by piling ma uh, materials over time, uh, items, water, chemical precip precipitate, and sediments. Here we are igneous rocks, metamorphic rocks, sedimentary rocks. Um, if you melt a metamorphic rock, it turns to magma. If you cool the magma, it'll be an igneous rock, and so on. Just um, Heat and pressure causes an igneous rock to become into a metamorphic rock. Erosion and the weather causes the metamorphic rock to become sediment. The sediment can turn to sediment, sedimentary rock by compaction and sedimentation, and so on. And that's it. And that's it for the earth. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to. Send us a, a, an, an email to um, which will be on the link of the, of the video in the, in the description side. Just uh, feel free to ask us any questions and we'll, we'll get back to you as soon as possible.